Hello and welcome. My name is Elizabeth. I'm a librarian with the San Jose Public Library, and today we're going to be making paper wind catchers. For today's activity, you'll need some paper cut into a square, scissors, glue or glue stick, and optionally, a ruler and pencil so that you can make your cuts more even. You'll also need something to suspend your wind catcher with. We're going to begin with our square of paper, bringing one corner to meet its opposite diagonally and making a fold. We'll then fold the triangle in half again, so that now our square of paper is in quarters. When we make this second fold, you can see that one of the short edges of our triangle has a single fold on it and the other has two folds. We're going to take our pair of scissors and cut this triangle into strips going from the edge with two folds up to but not through the edge with one fold. I am just estimating the width of my paper strips here, but this would be the opportunity to use the ruler and pencil to mark out even strips. You can make the strips as wide or as narrow as you like, but keep in mind that it will produce different effects depending on the width of the strips, so you can experiment if you like. I cut the entire triangle into strips, and for the last triangle, I leave it a little bit fatter than the other strips. Now that I've cut my triangle into strips, I'm going to unfold it and lay it flat like a diamond. I'm going to take every other strip from the diamond and bring it to meet its opposite and glue them together as if there is a cylinder on the center. So I'll just apply a little glue stick to each side and then bring them to meet each other and make sure that the glue is secure. Now that I've done the center one, I'm going to skip the next one out and take the third one out and glue it together and so on until I've finished every other strip from the first side of my wind catcher. Now that I've finished gluing the strips on one side, I'm going to flip over my wind catcher and glue the strips on the opposite side, repeating the same process, bringing together the strips and gluing them so that they form a cylinder on this side. And now your wind catcher is complete. Now that you've finished your wind catcher, you're going to want to have some way to suspend it. You can do this easily using a paper clip and a piece of yarn and clipping it to the top of the wind catcher. Or you can do what I'm going to do and use a piece of thread and a blunt needle. I'm going to cut the piece of thread and thread it through my needle. And then I'll use the blunt needle to pierce the top of the wind catcher and pull my thread through. Once I've done that, I can unthread the needle and tie the string at the top of the wind catcher to finish it. Now your wind catcher is ready to hang. Wait for the wind to spin it and watch it rotate. I use paper that has two different colored sides, which you can see produces a nice effect. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you had a good time, please fill out the program survey in the description box below.